it's it's a wood plywood epoxy boat and if I didn't have epoxy I couldn't have built it because I can't make two pieces of wood joined together without epoxy mm -hmm. so I'm not I'm not a I'm not a boat builder I've managed to make a boat <laughs> and it's just a case of well when I decided to build it I didn't sort of think right I'm going to build a boat I said, right, well, what's the first job to do? You know, we have, have to make the bulkheads. And my friend who designed the boat um, was was here when we started. So he he helped me with it and sort of got the momentum going. And then I thought, all right, well, we've done this much. We can just carry on and a bit at a time it will happen. And it did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just about finished, actually. Yeah. 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 It's fun. You, you will have, you have a keel? There's a little stub keel, yeah, and that, the boat's, part of the thinking of the boat is to be able to, to dry out on the beach and so forth when I want to. So the little, but, so the little stub keel is steel, so if I land on rocks or oysters okay. or something, it doesn't damage the bottom of the boat. Yeah. And then I've got the two, uh, yeah, the bilge boards for, yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully going to windward, yeah. They have incredible low draft, these, these, uh, yeah. Well, I say this this boat is is, is um, a derivation really of Tysty. So, yeah. and one of the things I loved about Tysty was the shallow draft and the yeah. people. I envied him, yeah. you know. He was yeah. he was somewhere we we met in Nukal and he was anchoring at one meters yes. and I was out there in the middle of the bay. That's and, right. Uh, yeah. yeah. And it, um, I mean, you know, there are plenty of junks with similar holes to yours, but. Just happened to have come across the ones yeah, with yeah. shallow draft, yeah. And the boat, the the junk rig doesn't cause the boat to heal as much as a, a pointy rig, a Bermudian rig. So you can, you can you know, play with that a bit more. Why? Why? Uh, well, well the, the forces on it are, are just so because much lighter. Because they're white, uh, very white. No, because the the, the 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 sail doesn't have the same. Well, partly because it doesn't have the same okay. camber, but the, it's just, yeah, it's just different. Yeah, it doesn't heal, it doesn't heal the boat as much, not the same forces. The whole rig is incredibly gentle to the boat compared with the medium. Yeah, yeah. Because there's, well, there's no rigging, so yeah. you're not trying to push the mass through the bottom of the boat all the time. Um, ah, well, because I've got a shallow draft, um, I had there were two choices, either a rudder that lifts up and down, which I didn't want because of the complexity mm. of mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. or to get the same area to have two rudders. So I went for the two rudders. Okay. So that um, even in shallow water, I've got a fully functioning rudder. Mm -hmm. And if you have a, a kick-up ah, yeah. rudder, uh, the centre of effort okay. goes right back and it becomes an absolute nightmare to settle the boat then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. So that's the theory. Mm -hmm. So there will be draft of about yeah, no 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 the, the draft is there there yeah two four oh. well actually sixty six hundred and forty I think it is yeah <laughs> crazy, crazy. <laughs> well it's only twenty six foot boat only an eight yeah. meter boat Wonderful. yeah so, uh, so this is the pram hood thing that I'm talking yeah. about and it'll obviously it's covered in fabric <sighs> and um, goes like that and then. Well, I'll just let that bit down. You look through here. Yeah. Um, and you, you turn it so that the back is always to the wind. Yeah, yeah. And then when you go to windward, you just sort of sort of peek through there. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to do anything to the boat, um, to the rig, you can stand. You can stand here. And work oh the rig. yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah yeah! So, of or, course. He's down here, you can keep look at. Mm -hmm. They're very common in working boats in England, or they used to be. This is wonderful work. Yeah. I love the teak, isn't it? I just, I, I love a teak deck, and it's it's really it's really practical because you don't need to paint it, you don't need you hardly need to wash them, and the non-slip 
No anchor winch? No anchor winch, no. no. Um, this is not stylish enough. I don't need one, I've got a chain pull. Okay. And cha these chain pulls, every, every boat should have one, even if it's got an anchor winch. And what it does is it, as it, locks. it, it catches the chain as it comes in. Okay. So, you know, all, all you do is... We use the waves. Well, you set them up and you, you, you just pull it in. Yeah. And all you're doing is pulling the boat up to the anchor. And it's only the very last bit where you're actually pulling the anchor up. Yeah. Three ton boat, fairly small tackle. Three um, tons? Yeah. We shall see. And um, you know, why go? The the working name of this book was Siblin, S I B L I M, which means small is beautiful, less is more. And that's how the whole boat is is visualised and built and will be lived on. She's going to be called Fanshi. That's F A N S H I. It's a name I've created for, uh, for personal reasons, but mm -hmm. it just coincidentally happens to mean everything in Chinese. Yeah, sounds a little bit Yeah. Well, this uh, because it's um, it, the only reason boats go to a point is for rigging. Yeah. So there's no rigging, so it doesn't need to go to a point. Yeah. yeah. And by putting the, this is like a Chinese bow, mm -hmm. and it means that if I pick up a mooring, it's well away from the anchor. So this is this is for picking up a mooring. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll take this off. It's, mm -hmm. I don't need that. And and this is for anchoring. So mm -hmm. they're, they're both they're so well apart. But I can all I can of course run the second anchor off there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Can't win them all. It's uh, that's uh, epoxy with graphite powder. Oh yeah, okay. It's not the carving stuff. No, no, no. It's, it's actually part of the gluing system for the teeth. And as the teeth wears, the the, the uh, epoxy doesn't. So the non-slip just gets better and better. Well, I'm not sure it's perfect. It's actually a bit like this. <laughs> I wasn't skillful enough to get everything level at all. Nobody sees it. There. Uh, mm. right. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. Um, the overall effect is nice. Uh, and it's strong. Sit down, it's yeah. been really yeah. bedroom. Oh, wow. Plenty of bedroom. Oh, wow. In the in the galley, mm -hmm. I've got um, it's a meth cooker, mm -hmm. alcohol cooker. Ah, yes. yeah. And again, it's a lot. It's a lot simpler than mm. putting gas in. My friend Gordon has one, and he he, he did the sums on it. And in New Zealand, you're really meant to have the gas done, you know, back and checked, and all the rest of it. I think, and Gordon said, yes, the gas is cheaper, but I, th I think he reckoned it'd take 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> to pay for the installation of the, of the gas cooker and, mm, and the yeah, cost yeah, of it, yeah. and, uh, and and of course, I mean, uh, ethanol can, can be completely green. And one of the real problems uh, with having um, a gas cooker is that you either have these teensy weensy little bottles, which I do a lot of cooking, and I, I had one on my last boat when I first bought it. They last me about ten days or a fortnight, or you get the standard ones that you can just swap. But they're nine kilos, and I mean, mm -hmm, I, can't, I, can't, mm -hmm. I can't lift them up and put them into the dinghy and then walk half a mile with them. Yeah. So, you know, the, 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 the idea that the gas is so convenient, you can get it anywhere. It only applies to people who are based ashore. It doesn't actually apply to people who are living on boats. Mm. Because actually, the gas place isn't usually just handily alongside a dinghy dock. No. It's miles no. away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it, it, it 
Going for gas actually didn't make any sense and anyway. Well, I mean, I, I'm, carrying, I'm going to carry 80 litres of meth, so that would keep me going for about six months. Oh, God. <laughs> that means I'm independent yeah. mm -hmm. for yeah, as long as I want to be, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So, you know, I'd probably come into Fangaray, um, maybe even hire a taxi, go to Win Fraser's, get my meth, come back and go for another six months, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So I've got the, there's a pan locker under here. Ah, yeah. Mm hmm. I think this is probably because it's so cold, some of the woodwork's uh, catching. But yeah, no, that's the this is a vegetable locker, and there's a, another shelf a little higher up that I can put uh, in my smaller baskets. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then this is just for uh, you know, local rubbish, you know, bits and yeah. pieces. That mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a vegetarian and I tend to cook everything from scratch, so I don't make much rubbish anyway. I, I brew my own beer and I'll probably make my own wine, oh, so all that's really? recycled. Yeah. Ah, okay. And then this is just uh, to be ready use food in here. Mm hmm. And um, this is the water su supply. Oops. Mm hmm. I can't remember I've done my own Um. So oh, one, yeah. one will be salt and one will be fresh. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the water is in these containers, or five litre containers mm -hmm. on the yeah. floorboards. Mm -hmm. It's about, I think I worked out, I carry about 120 litres, oh, okay. which for me is heaps. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 40 days. Yeah, water yeah. Water yeah. okay. Without, for, without being for careful. Water for cleaning yeah. Dishes yeah. And, and well, I, I use fresh water for cleaning dishes. Okay, luxury. <laughs> no, I, I don't like I don't like all the salty yeah. stuff. Mm. <laughs> so no, no method except that. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Sink is from wood. Yes. 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 Wooden sink. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's wow. beautiful. It's <laughs> <laughs> well, that was. I only wanted. They, I only wanted a little sink. And, yeah. and so this is exactly yeah. the size that I wanted. I can put my frying pan in, and I can put my little pressure cooker in to wash. Um, but, you know, I can put a reasonable amount of water in. <laughs> as, as the sink already is from luxury woods, you know, I'm sure these are from pure gold, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> pure brass. This is a funny story, these. These are actually made by an outfit in... Um, New Zealand called Fine Spray and they sell all over the world and the one of the one of the patterns had obviously got damaged and they, they couldn't cast anymore and all the ones in New Zealand were sold out so I had to buy them from the place I go to in England to, to get the books as it turned out, because at that time you didn't pay VAT, there was mm -hmm. basically there was no difference in price anyway. So, yeah. it's mm -hmm. bit, but it was a bit of a joke. Yeah. And these are mechanical pumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So you you more or less don't have any electricity on. You can see my switch panel next to you. Yeah. Uh, and the reason I put it here oh, yeah, is because whenever, uh, usually on boats, the, the electricity is sort of really difficult to get at so i put it here and i can put the bits on here and i can work yeah, at it like a yeah, civilized human being yeah, instead of yeah. groveling about and swearing yes yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should see mine you should see. <laughs> i can imagine they're always yes, terrible terrible yeah <laughs> and that's why the, the, the boat is arranged as yeah. it is because mm -hmm. it's, it's all built road. around and here. Where's the other big? Uh, it's, yeah. uh, there's lockers. There's lockers mm -hmm. between it. Ah, uh, so you. Um, but if if it. I hadn't had the I bilge didn't. boards, I'd have I'd have probably put the heads aft and moved the saloon forward, um, because the saloon is right next to the companionway. So that's why I put the two vertical bulkheads up, so mm -hmm. that any spray doesn't go directly mm -hmm. into the saloon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, 
you always end up making compromises, whatever you decide to do. So, uh, yeah, so that's a compromise in this boat. The, the saloon is right at the back end, you know, right next to the... Yeah. Absolutely. And then this, this works as a chart table. Mm-hmm. And yes, it's a long way from the cockpit, but either the chart's oh, in the cockpit yeah. or it doesn't matter. But, yeah. yeah. So, um, that, and that is, you know, there's room to put your pile of books there. Mm -hmm. So, so mm -hmm. that, I'm quite pleased with that. Ah, oh, these beautiful woodworks here. Oh, so. <laughs> so I don't know how long the stripes will stay in the wood because usually these things disappear as time goes by, but it's fun while it lasts. <laughs> the two windows in the front. It's just largely because you actually didn't need any more strength there. Okay. Um, and it just makes it all a, a little more elegant, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It goes right down to the keel mm -hmm. and is uh, really firmly secured in a step at, on, at the bottom of the boat. Mm -hmm. um, and that is that is also bolted to big pieces of wood around it. Um, so that that takes the full force of the mass, really. Yes. Yeah. I'll have lights for. Um, uh, navigation lights. Oh yeah. And echo sounder. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And then okay. uh, I've got a this type of thing. I've got one in the gal in the saloon for charging my phone. Mm -hmm. So I've got a remote mm -hmm. switch. Mm -hmm. And um, what else have I got? No. Uh, no, that's it really. Okay. <laughs> the, the other the other thing that's I I, I love at anchor. So. Mm -hmm. You know, you never know when you're going to have to leave in a hurry. So I always like the boat set up so that I can leave within a few moments of wanting to. And that's another reason not to have to stop all over. The boarding ladder will be on the side of the boat because I don't like this business of coming into the stern of a boat. I like to come alongside a boat to get out. Um, I really need space for it. So mm -hmm. yeah. I'll, I'm going to try and do it before I move the boat out of the shed, but I may have to move the boat out of the shed. Yeah. Uh, of the shed. Okay. Um, yeah. But I don't want to move the boat out. The weather's a lot better because it's just so much mud and dirt. Ah, this is a way. See the clips through. Ah, okay. Oh, oh so mm -hmm. the catches. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it just needs wiggling around a bit. Ah, yeah. okay. Very good. Yes. Um, so this really, this is for for winter or really horrible weather mm -hmm. when you mm -hmm. want to keep the boat warm and dry. And it's double glazed, mm -hmm. so because otherwise the water is poured from the condensation is poured from these these domes. Yeah. Um, and one of the reasons I wanted it is when I, I really like sunshine and I really just like overcast weather. So in the winter, when everything's closed up, this is perspex. Uh, it's clear, mm -hmm. and this is clear. So all the, any sun will come into the boat. Yeah, and it's also passive heating too. But more oh, yeah. to the point, I just mm -hmm. the boat wants to be bright and sunny. Yeah, uh, and that's you know with wooden washboards or a wooden hatch. You, excuse me, my hair's all tied up with myself. With the wooden wa washboards and a wooden hatch, mm -hmm. every time you shut the boat up, it goes dark. Mm -hmm. And I find that really depressing in the yeah. winter. Yeah. So I yeah, just wanted my boat to be as sunny as possible. A little bit smaller, we just that much easier. Yeah. But usually it could be there for weeks on end, probably. Yeah. Hopefully. And um, if it's really hot, you just put this head to wind and you get gallons of air coming down it and then mm -hmm. and, you, and you can turn it when you're on tidal anchorages so mm -hmm. you've always got the wind coming in or the rain going yeah. over it and uh, 
you know, again, when it's raining, it's a lovely place to stand because you've got this mm -hmm. the pram hood over you and you can just stand there and look at the calm water and all the raindrops. Yeah. And you're not outside, but you are outside. Yeah. It's, it, they're, they're delightful. They're a delightful concept. Yeah. As well as being sort of, you know, quite serious. <laughs> Real savings, <laughs> and that's why I, I want the junk rig. The only time we ever go on deck is to anchor mm. Mm -hmm. and, pull, mm. and leaving anchor, we pull the sail up. Well, I mean, I can pull the sail up from here when it's all set up, ah, okay. and I can I can reef the sail. Mm -hmm. it, I can reef, reef the sail faster than I can describe it. Mm -hmm. uh, I can do I, I can do everything from here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and then and yeah, the, yeah, the line from the self steering will come here, and I can adjust the self steering as well. Mm -hmm.